So the last time I experienced conflict was with one of our fourth grade parents. So this parent um, was here already since the previous year, um, but due to the rigor of our curriculum, the rigor of the state exam, the student had not passed their exam from the previous year and was still struggling. So the reason why I called her was because our teachers had already reached out to her in regards to the student not coming in for tutorials, which was an extra time to provide for support in the content that he needed more support in. So when I called her, um, she was a little bit hesitant at, be at the beginning only because I was already the second person calling her and she wanted to know, you know, what is the big deal about coming to tutoring? Um, my child is doing great. But after I explained to her um, the reason as to why he needed to come to tutoring, um, she was very upset. So I just basically told her um, to please come in and have a meeting with me so I can discuss his academics and I can show her, you know, the state report card from the previous year, which the state sends out every summer. Um, we also send out a state report card as well from our campus. So parents receive one from the state and they also receive one from our campus as well. So they can see their previous scores. Our teachers for the assessment, they send out a parent letter explaining to them exactly what the student had missed and what they can do to help and support them at home as well. Um, so after this uh, conversation, she got very heated. Um, she did not want to speak to me um, and then proceeded to hang up on me. I waited the next day. Um, I did not want to call her right away only because I knew she was not going to answer the phone. So when I called her the following day, um, she was still very upset at the fact, you know, that I did tell her that her child did not pass the star, star exam, um, which is by the state. And I did tell her um, the state does send out a form, which is called the report card from the state. And we also send one out as well, um, just in case she did not receive the first letter from home. Um, when I was speaking to her, she basically mentioned that I was insinuating that her child was incompetent and would not be able to learn. And I told her that's not what my intention is and that's not what I said. I said, we want him to come into tutoring for the purpose of the help and support that we can provide for your child and that way he can be successful at the end of this year. I did proceed to tell her, you know, come in and we can have a conference together. I can show you all the paperwork. I can show you, you know, the state report card again so you can see it. Maybe you did see it, you just didn't know how to read it. Um, and it is written in English and Spanish, which the parent is a Spanish speaking parent. Um, and I also explained to her, I can also show you all the letters that were sent home by the teacher as well. Um, she was very uh, upset still. She did not want to come in. I did tell her, you know, if we don't have this meeting, you're not going to be able to see all the reports that I'm talking about so I can explain to you better. Um, and the reason why I proceeded to want to make a conference with her is that she can actually see the grades on the computer. She can see his tests that he has taken in the past, and that way she can understand the importance of coming in, not only on a daily basis, but to ensure that the child is completing his homework on a daily basis and coming in for tutorials as well. Um, we waited uh, two weeks later, and she did call the front office and wanted a meeting with my principal, which, and then I had to explain to my principal everything that I did state to her, and I showed her all the documentation. So. When the meeting was set up with a parent, my principal and myself, um, she was very upset that I was part of this meeting and my principal had to state to her, well, she's here for the reason that she's the one who's going to explain to you um, verbatim of what she said. Um, the parent was very upset because um, she's still stating that I said that her child was incompetent, he was not gonna be able to pass. And like I explained to her, um, previous times before I said I did mention there was a possibility to be retained if we do not you know do any everything on our part to make sure that he's successful in the classroom and outside of the classroom as well but that doesn't mean that he's incompetent and is not able to learn I truly believe that every child no matter what their race ethnicity background gender is going to learn and we're going to do whatever it takes in order for our children to be successful at the end of the year and throughout their whole uh, educational life here at Idea Public Schools. Um, the mom, after I told her, you know, I truly apologize if you think I said that, I said, but I would never say that. I am 
when I'm speaking to any parent, to a teacher, to a child, I'm always, you know, speaking in a courteous manner and making sure that my words are being said correctly so that they are not misinterpreted in any way, shape or form. Um, so the parent was okay for me to stay in. Um, after the fact, you know, I explained to her exactly what I explained to her over the phone. You know, the child did not pass the STAR exam. Um, and we looked at the criteria, what was his grade, how many he questions he got correct, how many he needed in order to be successful for passing the STAR. Um, mom was okay at the beginning, um, but she was still very, very hesitant. Um, and why we didn't call this meeting earlier was another point that she started to make after the fact. Um, and why did I wait till October to come and tell her this? So lesson learned for myself, one of the biggest things, um, since this was my first year managing the students with um, upper grades, which are tested by the state, I will make sure any student who has failed um, this, the state exam to have a meeting right away come um, August, as soon as we start. That way parents know, okay, this is where my student ended the last year and I wanna make sure that they're successful. They have to come in every day to school. They have to make sure that they um, do their homework on a daily basis. And they have to make sure they stay for tutorials. They have to stay for Saturday school or whatever we're asking them to do in order to be successful throughout the whole year. Um, having close communication with parents is super important for us um, just to make sure that we're all on the same page and moving forward. This is something that I know I am, I learned a lesson and I'm, going to make sure that the following year I don't have phone conversations over grades and making sure that the parents are actually in our campus, they can actually see the scores and they can see all of the documentation that they need to see as well.